What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be making some dynamic falling leaves. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So first of all, let's start off by just downloading some textures of leaves. So for me, I got some textures off of Quixel's Bridge. Uh, I use this a lot, it's great, it's a great free asset. If you guys don't use it, you should use it. Uh, yeah, if you're interested in the ones that I used, I used Fallen leaves over here and then this Elm leaves over here. Uh, so I would recommend downloading it twice, one with your actual uh, renderer, so for instance Octane, and then another one just as a normal standard renderer, you'll see why in a second. Cool, so I got my textures over here, you'll see one is just uh, normal Cinema 4D and then the other one's Octane. So if I had to throw on an Octane material on here, you'll see that it just shows up as white. And in the renderer you can see it, but that's not gonna really help us when we're trying to cut these out. So that's why I'd recommend downloading two of them. Okay, so first off, let's add the plane, throw on our texture over here, and we're just gonna go in and cut these out. So if you don't have your grid up already, press N and then B, so that you can get the grid lines over here. And let's add some, I think, 40 should be okay, let's just actually do 50 just to be safe and then we're going to make making it editable You can either press C on the keyboard or you can click this button up over here both do the same thing so yeah, now we're just going to go over here go into polygon select and then Go in Select the parts that we want. It really doesn't need to be perfect And then you're going to say right click over here and then split cool. So now we're going to go in and cut out everything I'm not going to bore you guys with that, so you get the idea, select, right click, and split. Let's skip to the good part. Five minutes later. Cool. Welcome back. We have all of our assets over here, just placed on top of each other. It really doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a whole bunch of them. So. When you cut them all out, your axis is not going to be in the center. So all you have to do is select all of the objects, go over here to mesh, axis center, axis center, and then execute. And it will put everything, the axis in the center of everything. That will make it much easier for our simulation purposes. Cool. So let's get an emitter. So we're going to press shift and C and then type in emitter. Bring this up and out of the way. Cool, let's go over here to the particles. So this we can kind of mess around with depending on how many you want in your scene, but for the purposes of today, I'm gonna to use around like 25. That worked the last time, but we might add more, we might add less. Let's see how it goes. Uh, but yeah. Cool, so with the start of mission, that's where the mission will start. So if you want it to only start at 30 frames, for instance, you put 30 over here and then there won't be any particles until 30 frames here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Same with uh, stop emission. Cool. Let's add some variation to the lifespan. It's not really that important, to be honest. Uh, we don't want much speed because we just want it to fall. They're falling leaves. Rotation. Let's add some rotation over here. Uh, about like 40. It doesn't really matter too much. Cool. So now what we're going to do is take all of our objects and put them inside of the mirror and now when we press play you see nothing happens uh, all you need to do over here is click show objects and now when you press play there they are cool so let's just set this back down to zero and let's rotate the emitter so that it points downwards and there they are just spawning in like that Cool, that looks pretty cool. Now we're gonna do some dynamics. So what we're gonna do is right click simulation and then soft body. Pretty simple, we don't really need to change anything over here. If you want to, you can. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I literally left everything the same, but depending on what you're trying to do, you would change those accordingly. So let's just hold down control and then just copy it onto all of them. Originally I had thrown it in a cloner and then just applied just one simulation tag to the whole cloner but I found that this works just as well, so I found this just a little bit easier. Cool, so now let's press play and they are falling. Awesome, cool, that's the first step done. 
Uh, if that's all you wanted to uh, know, then cool, that's good for you. But yeah, for the rest of the tutorial, we're just gonna add a floor for it to collide with and then maybe add some turbulence and wind just to make it seem a little bit more realistic. Cool, so let's raise that up. We're gonna add a plane over here and we're gonna add a collider body tag. So now they should fall and they should collide with the bottom over here. Nice, we've got our simulation going. Great, cool. So if you are playing this and the leaves are falling through or doing some weird things, we're gonna click Control D, go to Dynamics over here and then turn up your steps per frame. It's usually set to five, but I set mine to 10. Um, it's not necessary, but it depends on your simulation. If it is colliding with each other or going through the floor, then turning up your steps per frame will or should solve that problem. Cool, so now let's add some turbulence. So, Shift C, turbulence. Cool, so with the turbulence, I'd want it a little bit more intense, maybe around like 10. Scale, I guess, go like 200% doesn't matter too much and then frequency it's, it's yeah that looks about right cool so now at least they're not falling just directly down now they have some turbulence going on let's also add some wind just uh Subtle wind just to make it. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Cool, so that's the gist of the effect. Oh, what is going on there? Oh, that is beautiful. Uh, I think we can solve that by turning the bounce. Let's see if that doesn't. Ah, there's still a few that kind of collide with each other, but. It looks like it works. It doesn't really look like anything's crashing too much. We've got some bugs over here. So what we can do with that is let us turn. Uh, so I'm used to the X particles. If you guys want X particles tutorials. Tell me, because we can do a similar thing like this with X particles, but I'm doing this in Cinema 40 just because most people use Cinema 40. That's the default, so I feel like it's a wider audience. Okay, if they are colliding, if they are colliding with each other, maybe what we can do is just increase the size of our emitter so that they're spawned in different areas so that they don't spawn into each other. And that seems to have solved our problem. Nice. Yeah, that seems to be working. Awesome, so this is just a few we can add in a lot more. So let's maybe, let's go a little crazy. Let's add a hundred. Whoa, look at all those leaves. Isn't that beautiful? So that's pretty much the gist of the tutorial. Pretty simple, but it's a pretty cool technique and you can get some pretty cool results from it. So for my Patreons, if you guys are interested, I created this scene over here where we have uh, a lot more particles going on. I also created this cool kind of cathedral looking place and they are falling around in here and just colliding with the walls and all that. So it's exactly the same. I just now put this um, cathedral looking place in it. I don't know if cathedral is the right word, maybe like a, I don't know, it looks kind of like a church. But yeah, same thing applies where you would literally just add a collider tag onto your object over here and the principles should stay exactly the same. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And yeah, if you want to support me on Patreon, the project files will be up there along with some others and some random ones, that tutorials that I haven't done. I just kind of put some project files up there every now and then. So yeah, if you guys are interested, it would be great if you could support the channel. But if not, that's completely chilled. I hope you learned something and I hope you had fun. Cool.